Hi guys and hope you're well. Thanks again for joining me in my kitchen and this week we will be making a very popular classic Indian snack for any occasion, especially when entertaining guests. Spring rolls can be made with vegetables and chicken or you can also just leave out the chicken if you wish. It's so easy and simple to make. Basically all you do is cook some delicious ingredients in a pot then roll it in a spring roll which you can fry in oil or bake in the oven. This recipe will make around 35 to 40 rolls. All the ingredients can be found in your local supermarket, so let's get started. You will need one chicken fillet chopped into small cubes, 85 grams of butter, one potato diced into small cubes, one carrot finely cut with a julienne cutter, half red and half green pepper cut into small pieces, 100 grams of sweet corn, 100 grams of boiled spaghetti, break them into small pieces and boil them. The spices that you will need are salt to taste, one teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of grinded fresh green chilies, one teaspoon of garlic paste and three tablespoons of chili sauce. To garnish, a handful of chopped spring onions and fresh green coriander, one tablespoon of sesame seed and juice of one fresh lemon. And finally, the main ingredient is a packet of spring roll pastry and to stick the pastry down, I've made a paste with flour and water and oil to fry. So first, preheat your pot and add the butter. The heat should be on medium heat. Once that's melted, I'm going to add the chicken. And the chilli sauce. And mix that tip all in. We will let this cook until a little water is left. Okay, so let's just uh, check this, see how it's getting on. There's still some water left, so I'm just going to cover that for a little bit longer. So that's great, that looks about ready. So let's go ahead and throw in all the other ingredients. Be gentle when you're mixing it, you don't want to break anything. Because the spaghetti is boiled, I will add that a bit later. And when the mixture is cooled, I will add the garnishing ingredients. As that's cooking through, you will be able to smell the lovely aroma coming from these awesome colourful ingredients. It just smells so delicious. So I've switched the heat off and I'm going to add the spaghetti and mix the spaghetti in gently there you go all done so let's get the pastry out and let's get rolling so I've got my pastry sheets and I've got my paste which I made from plain flour and water. It's very easy, but if you want to see how I made it, pop over to my samosa video where I show you how. I'm going to use the paste and just paste these sides. Get some of my filling. I'd say I just about a tablespoon and just spread it along. Fold the sides like this. A little bit more paste at the edge here and I'm just going to start rolling. Make sure the filling is intact. 
there you go this is how it should look like Don't pack it too tight, otherwise when frying, the pastry will burst. So make sure it's nice and even all along. The oil is hot and ready for frying, which you will know if you put the tip of the spring roll in the oil, it will start sizzling. Make sure you put the spring rolls in slowly, you don't want the oil to splatter everywhere. The oil shouldn't be on too low, so it cooks efficiently. These are about done. Just make sure you wait for a lovely golden brown colour before you take them out. These delicious spring rolls are very popular and Moorish. One just won't be enough. They should be nice and crunchy like this. Try it out and if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. If you like this recipe, share it with your friends and please do give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you next time.